um, my attention has been drawn to the various insinuations that trailed the press conference of um, the BOT of Tampa, which was held on Saturday 26th of um, June. And um, I want to make some clarification. First and foremost, I want you to know, I'm going to check all the presentation. The meeting was not about supporting Baba Isha. No, supporting Baba Isha for what? I have personally condemned any act of rape. I only pleaded also that um, the law should be allowed to take its course. That is all I have said. After all, Yobani, uh, so that is my belief and that is what uh, I have said in the past. We even mentioned it at the conference that we also condemn any act of rape. I have said that the conference was not about Babai Jesha. And the conference also was not against Yabo Ojo's stand fighting for the minor. No, 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 no. There was no time we said what Yabo Ojo is doing about fighting for the girl is wrong. We never said so. So please don't get us wrong. What we are saying is this. That Yabo Ojo should desist from mentioning Tampan and the Yoruba film industry in a derogatory way. I mean, Baba Jesha, yes, of course, he is a colleague in the Yoruba film uh, industry. But you cannot, because of one person, condemn the entire association and condemn the entire industry. No! That is what we stand to correct. And that was why we give the warning that enough is enough. Stop putting Tampan and the entire Yoruba film industry into Baba Jesha's issue. Baba Jesha, whether he likes it or not, will be dealt with by the law, which is already going on anyway. We also use the conference to dissociate ourselves from uh, all of our most utterances at the interview we granted uh, within the court premises that day. That is not what we are. That does not represent us. That is what we are saying. It is not we that is referring to. I think we believe he was emotionally carried away, maybe because of the way he felt. Um, uh, Yabojo insulted him. That is it. We are not part of that. This is my 57 years in the industry. And uh, I doubt if you have seen me with such a thing. And there uh, several others too. No, 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 no. That, is not, that does not represent us. And uh, yes, on my outburst, about frustrating uh, Nkechi out of the industry. We can frustrate you out of the industry if we want to. It depends on the way you are taking it. Like many of you said, I am not God. I cannot. I have no power whatsoever to frustrate anybody out of anything. No, 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 no. But it is an attempt. What I said was an attempt to something Yabo Joe and uh, Nkechi because I consider them as children. You can listen to what uh, Mr. Biodu said the other time. Is there no discipline? Is there no this? If for any reason you offend your father and he says, I will, I will slap you and then you will not use that eye to see anything again. Toba Shebabai, 
Are you saying your father is really willing to make you go blind? That is not correct. I also went ahead to say that they are our children. Because we are fathers, we are parents, and as much as possible, we contributed to their status. When they agree to come back to the fold, our hands are open. We tell you they are our children. We tell you if they behave tomorrow, we will embrace them. It is not for them to die. It is not for them to sink. No, it is for them to remain straight. That's what we say. I also mentioned at the conference that Enitoba Monkey will. We will not want them down. And to buy more, I believe we contributed to their success. And then uh, it will be stupid of us to bring them down. No, 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 no. But whatever we are saying is just to sustain them from continuous using derogatory statements against Tampa and the Yoruba film industry. Let me quickly say this. You will agree with me that my visibility in the industry is more in the English sector now. It is um, some of our youths in the Yoruba sector they are reported the derogatory statements of Iyabo Ujo and um, Nkechi. And um, all they wanted was for us to stop them from continuous abuse of um, the law abiding actors in the Yoruba sector. And that was all we said. And I have mentioned it. My advice, uh, I would first say, who do I want to frustrate? If you check my record, they will let you know that, in fact, I doubt if there is any elder that loved the youth more than myself. Uh, in those years, when our leaders, our elders, refused to register youth into our fold. I stood for the youth. I fought. I challenged the elders. And they eventually agreed with me. That is why we have everybody coming in as long as you are a practitioner you are entitled to be part of our country. I did that. And up to now, I still continue to support the youth. You still see me coming to shoot Yoruba film though, even if they are not as much as what I can do. Because I believe so much in the source. I believe so much if I, if I now use a powerful voice to soften those we consider as our children, not for to forget their souls, I have not done anything bad. Right. So that is my clarification. And the, all those that continue course. He is going to work against you. <laughs> Mr. Adine Kozoko, you will hear from me when I'm ready for you. But for now, may I go collect this one thing? Hello, Jawelini. I'm going to say it. 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 Nigerian youths, I want to believe, are not uh, that rascal.
rascality comes in various forms. It is better to always listen well. And I want you to also know that people like us have a listening ear. If you have sick for clarification, you get it. Go and look at the uh, address that was read. I reported it on my Instagram just for you to read. That is the official position of the association. Every other side talks are personal opinions which are which emanates from emotions. And uh, I have just explained it. I'm not God who I don't even have any right over my own next minute not to talk or frustrating anybody. I said it to soften them so that 